Hey everybody, Thomas here. Guess what? The mill is leaving Wisconsin. So we're gonna go ahead and break this sucker down. I've got the tractor ready to be hooked up. We gotta start lowering everything down. Uh, and the entrance, at, and the reason why we have the tractor on here is because when I built this sawmill building, I built it around the sawmill. And I always said, hey, getting this thing out of here might be an issue, but that'll be something to do at a later date. Well, guess what? Today's a later date. I'm going to have to drive the tractor all the way into the woods there, into those couple trees, uh, probably disconnect it, then use the tractor to tilt the sawmill over. It's going to be awesome. So this is going to be fun. Uh, we're going to go ahead and break this thing down. I'm going to put on time lapse and hopefully my battery will last because I'm about 15% battery, but uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. We're going to throw in a time lapse, break everything down. We're going to start by moving the saw head back to the correct position. We'll lift up. Uh, the arms here and we're gonna start breaking down the jacks and everything get it onto the tractor and we're really gonna be going as fast as we can because the mosquitoes out here are atrocious so Okay, that took us about seven minutes to go ahead and get the sawmill all broken down and things moved to where they need to be. Saw head down one inch up off the deck, blade at 500 PSI, jacks and all the connecting cables up, and all the jacks, excuse me, lifting arms and cables up. Now we're going to go ahead and pull forward with the tractor. This is going to be the fun part because, again, like I said, have not moved this sawmill since I built uh, this building and we got to figure out how in the world to get it out of here. Uh, I think we can make it happen though. <laughs> when I say mosquitoes are bad, I hope you can see this. Let's see if I can get them in the sunlight. Oh, they're atrocious. I did a short video. I mean, it doesn't do it justice how many are right here in front of me. I don't know if you can see it on the film or not. It's it's horrible. Whoa, it's horrible. <laughs> okay, so we've got the sawmill in here. The reason we put it in here is because there is a storm rolling in tonight. However, tomorrow when my dad's on the road, looking like it's going to be all clear skies. Just doing a walk around the sawmill. Um, we're going to go ahead and make, every, make sure everything's good. Uh, the sawmill has been sitting here for nearly uh two years it's almost two years since it's been here and everything so we're going to walk through make sure all of our pins all of our connections everything has a pin on it and everything it's not going to rattle out we're going to check the uh, hubs for grease we're going to check the air tire or air pressure in the tires and everything we're going to make sure we're not bottomed out on the sawmill you don't want it directly on the deck or anything it'll kind of mess up some alignment stuff you want to have about an inch off about an inch in there uh, off the deck and everything uh, you will over a long trip you may get some chain stretch more so on the diesel engines on the gas engines just because you have that extra weight up there uh, again blade tension is gonna be around 500 psi uh, you want to keep a blade on there it helps just to make sure everything rides a little bit smoother I will be taking off this tank that will definitely fly off uh, I'm also going to take off the magnetic strip in fact I will go ahead and do so right now because yes these are on there pretty well. However, it just, if you've got crosswinds like we're gonna have going across uh, Illinois and everything, yeah, you don't want that. If it was going to be raining, I would definitely put a plastic bag over this and then uh, tape it up or, or, you know, tie it up or whatever so it doesn't, it, it lessens the amount of water that will get in here because you have all these electronics and stuff like that and moisture is a killer of electronics. Uh, you can just ask my buddy Neil with that because he dealt with moisture and corrosion that got into this box right here and it did not help. We're going to check that our brake lights and everything are working. That's, uh, you know, standard stuff. Uh, the diesel tank, that'll stay on here, no problem. Um, pretty much, for the most part, we're ready to go as it is. Uh, we will also look at some of these hydraulic lines right here. If I have anything that's hanging like too low i don't think nothing's too low but i might go in there add some bungee straps because say you're rolling down the road and there's an 18 wheeler tire or something like that that went across the road if you hit one of those lines with an 18 wheeler tire that's in the middle of the road and everything you might lose one so anytime you can bring those lines up that's a good idea and if you look beneath here we can see that there's at least one line 
on the right side there, that's pretty low. So yeah, we'll go ahead and strap that up. And then we'll make sure we check our connections. We'll put our pin through here as well. And then we'll be safe to travel down the road. We did have to do a little bit of uh, uh, fixing up right here because my dogs are lovely and they busted stuff off, but that has been corrected. So tomorrow when this is all hooked up to the truck, we'll do another final walkthrough as we get down the road. Also, if it was gonna be raining, I'd make sure to put some kind of cover over top of the diesel engine exhaust there so I don't get to water there. And so stay tuned for tomorrow. Okay, folks, we're gonna do a quick walkthrough of what we have on here. So we've got the kayaks on the back of my dad's flatbed truck here. Those are awesome. We also have that one oak cant that we cut. On the sawmill, we are carrying just a little bit. It's not really advised to carry weight on the saw deck and everything while it's in transportation, but we don't have a whole lot of weight on here. And really, it's actually gonna, uh, it's just a great space to use <laughs> to make sure it's not wasted. So I've got everything strapped down there. This is some beach some uh camphor there's some cypress underneath there and then a chinese fur mantle we got two black walnut slabs underneath there we got one more beach slab there and then two maple slabs and a little maple piece on top okay so when you're walking around the sawmill you know you're gonna have these arms here make sure the arms are slid in the furthest appendage on the left on excuse me on your right side as you're driving is going to be that arm right there uh, for the tensioning system for the sawmill now you want to make sure you have some pressure on that and we have it at 500 psi because if it was really really loose and everything uh, this could you know wiggle out while you're driving down the road you don't want that so you just got to make sure on your right side just know that hey this extends another foot and a half beyond the actual wheels the wheels we went ahead and, and uh, added the or this tire excuse me we added the uh, air to them recommend 80 psi cold we put 75 in there that should be ample for what we need also like talked about yesterday your clearance right there is about an inch or so you, you don't really want to bottom out the sawmill in transit you want to make sure that you have about an inch or so above the deck you don't want to be super high either because you have all this high weight high weight is bad weight uh, it could help for uh, toppling over and stuff like that a little more so on the diesel than on the gas engine because also that diesel engine is quite a bit heavier uh, we went ahead here we're not going to bag up anything because we're um, transiting during you know nice clear days no rain stuff like that but you know of course secure your box just make sure there's no uh, you know tools or anything hanging on the deck there i had to remove any little pieces and parts that might come off uh, especially the water tank which i use a uh, diesel or the bio lube bin and also your lowest appendage now i talked about this yesterday if you look up underneath here our lowest appendage is no longer our lowest appendage it is now essentially the axle will be the lowest appendage and what i did is i went ahead and tied up all of that right there so that was the one hydraulic line that was hanging down pretty low i made sure to tie that up so again now my axle is the lowest appendage and everything else looks pretty clean up underneath here so very happy with that and then lastly always make sure well not lastly two more things make sure you have these chains on here you don't want these arms to slip out and you have the chains down there as well uh, but the last thing here is make sure that your connections are all made this is a two and five eighths ball or five sixteenths whatever the size is it's it's the larger of the balls or anything uh, we went ahead and added of course your chains your uh freaking uh connection there for your lights or anything and i didn't have any other pin but this right here but you want to make sure you, you put a pin in there that's just that's just a peace of mind kind of thing unfortunately our breakaway break here uh the dogs did a great job of uh you know cutting some cables on that so <laughs> that will not be used um but we'll, we'll get that fixed when we get back down to uh, Tennessee. But other than that, everything else looks pretty good. A little bit of wood there on the deck. And excited. Oh, there is one other thing I did. I had my son get up on top here. And I said, hey, go ahead and tape up that exhaust right there. Now, when you get this from Timber King, it usually comes with a flapper on top of that. I can't stand the flapper, so I take this off. But just in case, depending on how long this is going to sit for, I don't want any critters or anything getting up in there. So... I had him go ahead and tape that up and I just have to remember, y'all can help me remember too, when I first crank this thing up, make sure to take that off because there's going to be a lot of pressure built up in there if I don't. But uh, yeah, that's it. And, oh, 
I continue to say there's one more thing. There is one more thing. So I went ahead and tightened down these bolts here and everything, but I added this strap across here as well. Reason is, one of my buddies, Mr. Jack Hudson down there in Mississippi, he travels with his sawmill all of the time. One of these nuts that is welded onto this bolt right here broke off, and it happened while he was driving down the road. Only one side, thank goodness, there's two on there, so you have some redundancy and everything. But always, I like to put a little strap on there. So you gotta make sure you clear your hydraulic lines. You don't wanna have it uh, crimping down in hydraulic lines. But that's just an extra protection to help keep her in place and to make sure she doesn't come off. And I believe that is it. So if you see this going down the road through Illinois, my dad's gonna be driving looking like uh, the Wood Baron kayak dude going down the road. So <laughs> but yeah, we're very excited to get down to Tennessee. I uh, cannot wait. I've got about another three and a half weeks up here before we actually head down to Tennessee as well. But uh, very much looking forward to it and cannot wait to get this sawmill set up to start working on the new house down there because it's going to be amazing, folks. We're going to do some wild stuff. We're going to actually go full out, remodel this house, and we're going to use a lot of wood that we cut on the sawmills and everything to make it a very unique uh, house, mostly in the master bedroom, some stuff in the bathrooms. And then uh, some of the studs. You'll be interested to see what we replace some of these studs with. All right. Please like and subscribe. Very much looking forward to uh, any comments that people may have or anything. And going to wish my dad a safe trip down to Tennessee. And my next trip will be hauling down my final trip. I've got one kayak left. i got my big trailer. I've got the tractor. And I think we've got like the lawnmower and some other stuff. But yeah. Very, very short time. So we'll see you around. Thanks. All right, so he is heading down the road. Do my last little visual. Make sure everything looks good on the sawmill. Yeah. Yep, lights work. You're good. <laughs> I just ate a mosquito. Yeah, good times. That's my baby right there. <laughs> <laughs> all right folks well y'all have a great day i'm uh gonna be sad seeing that sawmill go down the road i won't have that up here for a little bit but that's okay like i said when we get down to tennessee we've got a lot of stuff going on and i'm so excited to get down to tennessee folks you have no idea all right until next time safe sawing safe travels and uh yeah, I'll have some other videos out here soon. Thanks.